putting them face down. But many it's departments now there. discourage or even ban putting pressure on the back or neck in that position. Fifteen years ago, a Justice Department bulletin warned that the technique can cause sudden death. It said a person lying on his stomach has trouble breathing when pressure is applied to his back. As soon as the person is handcuffed, it said, get him off his stomach. Most police departments now say once subjects are handcuffed, they should be rolled over or allowed to sit or stand. Experts on policing universally condemn what happened in Minneapolis. There hasn't been one person, one police chief, anyone I've talked to, doesn't see this exactly the same way. Uh, a police officer and the, those who were there that day... That's they horrible. ...George Floyd. The charges filed today say police are trained that this kind of restraint, putting a knee on a subject who's lying face down, is inherently dangerous. Yes, it is. All right, Pete Williams, thanks. President Trump late today saying he has reached out to George Floyd's family, but he's also defending a tweet about Minneapolis that Twitter flagged for, quote, glorifying violence. Meantime, former Vice President Biden and former President Obama are also responding. With that, here's Peter Alexander. Someday they will. Tonight, President Trump says he's spoken to the family of George Floyd. I yeah, right. The, I understand the pain. People have uh, really been Fuck through a lot. You. The family of George is entitled to justice, and the yep. people of Minnesota are entitled to yep. live in safety. Yep. Also talking about these scenes in Minneapolis. The looters should not be allowed to drown out the voices of so many peaceful protesters. They hurt so badly. Earlier, the president addressed a new break with China from the Rose Garden, but walked out without making any mention of Minnesota. But it was this tweet that led Twitter to place a label on the president's comments for the second time this week. The president Good. overnight tweeting, these thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd. No, they're not. We won't let that happen. Any difficulty, and we will assume control, but when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Twitter posted because we're retaliating. Notice saying the tweet violated the company's rules about glorifying violence. The decision the company says was based on the historical context of the president's words and the risk it could inspire similar actions today. During the civil uprisings of the late 60s, Miami's police chief Craig McCall Trump in the next video on the World News Tonight says he is showing sympathy for the family and the guy that died. He also disagrees with the violence that is happening in Minnesota. The point is people are pissed. They are sick and tired of getting shot at or getting murdered by these pig cops because they have a badge and a gun. Just because you wear a badge and a gun, once again, does not make you the law in this country. You are here to protect and serve. Trump, we are doing this. We are going to war with cops because we are sick and tired of, have, sick and tired of racism. We are sick and tired of them tracking people down and killing them in cold blood. The officers had this guy in handcuffs on the ground. The guy is not going nowhere, but that gives the cops the right to put a knee over his neck and try to restrain him that way. As a mixed martial artist, we are trained to hold our position, not enforce it deadly so we can kill somebody. But anyway, Trump wants to show sympathy. Here's my sympathy. We are retaliating. We are fighting back because we have no choice because you're too coward. You're a coward. You don't care about the debts in this country. All you do is run your fucking mouth, your lips, which your ass can't check. You don't care. You want blood. You want bloodshed. You want more debts. You're not doing anything about it. We have debts every single day in this goddamn country. You do nothing about it except sit on your fat ass and run your lips. Do something about it. These cops, this, these cops that did this to this poor man, we need to set examples. If any more cops do this, they are going to be either executed or immediately lose their job and be thrown in jail. That's what needs to happen. But we all know freaking Trump ain't going to do that because he doesn't care about the American people. He cares about himself and his goddamn money. Let this be warned. It's not going to get any easier. It's going to get worse because of Trump and the government, government, because they don't care about the Americans in this country today.